idea one. So, Michael, you want to play a game of cards? I got sure. this free deck of cards Like here. we do every day? Yeah. Let's uh, divvy these up here, and I'm going to see, deal you out some. Oh, look, uh, there's people on these cards. Hmm. Look, here's, uh, that's one of our neighbors we know. He's a soccer coach. Oh, and hey, this is, uh, right here we got, uh, this person helps people find houses. And then there's, um, oh, this is a community leader. This is uh, Jean Mapu. Ah, and these are, so I guess everyone in the suit here, they're all people he picked that he thinks we should know in the community. So anyway, cool. let's get these cards divvied up and you can look at your hand. Oh, look, I got, uh, I got a reporter here who I can contact if I have questions. Or oh, look, there's also an immigration lawyer, and I got another ace, so I'm gonna school you here. And no, anyway, just you know, play your hand. Kids these days. <laughs> so basically, we, we thought we'd make a card deck. Uh, there's four suits in a card, and the way it would work is uh, each ace is a community leader that who who picks the other 13 people, or is it 12 or whatever, in in their suit, and they pick people who are connectors. So you get a deck of connectors. It's people who are. Uh, good to know because they cater, good to know because they do landscaping, good to know because they can teach your kid, you know, dance or ballet or, uh, you know, macrame or whatever it is. Um, and there'll be some, a little bit bio about who they are, a picture of who they are, and a little bit of contact info. So that when you're playing with these cards uh, that we'll give out to free to people and sort of have around, you'll be, you know, you can kind of bring that connecting without having to have people meet face to face. They can still be getting to know people in their community and have resources. And of course the Joker card will be uh, our contact information, the organization to put this out so that if people want to find out, you know, who's behind this project and kind of get involved with it maybe and whatever they want to do, they can do that way. And we're thinking of the back of the cards too to have a, a little thing that says, you know, how can we help texts and with a number or whatever with a question and we'll get back to people. So when they're playing the cards, if they say, hey, I want to be a part of it next time or, you know, what are the rules for gin rummy or uh, whatever they question they have? Someone could be there to kind of say, you know, this is a, this is this, these deck of cards is a method of communicating. So, starts to. Oh wait, hold on. In the, in the, the, sorry. Oh, I was going to go to our, our oh. next and, and the need that we're trying to address is the fact that um, we kept hearing that connections and knowing people was critical to getting new work and the like. So, in essence, we're picking community leaders that know a lot of people, and then they're picking a group of people that they can sort of vouch for because they've chosen them and everyone knows they know them. <laughs> so now if you see someone that actually has a skill you need for a job, whether they're employed or not, you know, you, you now have someone that you, that you kind of have a reference for, even though it's not, you know, Joe's cousin or whatever, which is how a lot of jobs get found. So the idea was to create connections and you put out cards every three or four months so that each, commu many community leaders can do it and each one can say, gee, you didn't make my deck this time, but next time, you know, I'll consider you for it. Okay. So I, just, I just got a text to you here. Uh, oh, oh look, I got this thing. Um, it says, today only 40% off, the text says, at, uh, for CDs at Sunny sound record store. That's really interesting. Wow. I don't know where that is. So it says here, oh, I can text where for location and yes to get a code for this discount. That's pretty sweet. 40% off is great. So I'll text where, oh, it's at this cross section. But wait, I have a smartphone. When I just hit this button and it gives me a little map here. Oh, I know where that record store is. And check it out. There's restaurants right next to it and a botanica. So yeah, I might as well go down to that. I haven't been to that neighborhood in a while, but 40% off a CD, that's worth it. So Maybe I'll get some food when I'm down there. Pretty sweet. And a new deal each day. <laughs> yeah. So the idea behind that one is that we'll help. Uh, Very sweet. We'll get people to. Um, we'll get businesses that need to bring more people in to sign up, and we'll have you know new deals each day, and it'll help get people to track through the neighborhood. Uh, at some suggestions, we decided to put in whether or not you could reserve for the code, so people will have some sort of buy-in and kind of know who's come in. So you text back, you know, yes, and you'll get a special coupon code that you present to, uh, you could show the text to the person that registered to get your code and it'll be a fun way to help people explore and if it, like I said, if it, you have a smartphone, you'll get a map too of uh, that area and it should like ping all the other businesses in that area that participate so that, you know, if you're walking around that neighborhood you could also check out some other businesses even if they're not having a sale that day. So.